This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today, June 21st, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we have two tropical systems, one forming in the Atlantic, just off the coast of Florida and Georgia, the other forming off the Yucatan Peninsula and the coast of Mexico in the Gulf of Mexico. Both have a 60% chance of formation over the next couple of days. And both will affect the United States East Coast and Gulf Coast one way or another, even if they don't become tropical cyclones. Taking a look at the tropical system off the coast of Florida and Georgia first, I see very little rotation, definitely thunderstorms offshore. This has actually been assigned a label invest 92l or invest 92 low by the national hurricane center again this has a 60 percent chance of forming into the second cyclone of the 2024 season and we'll keep an eye on it but it should make landfall in northern florida in georgia and southern south carolina we will definitely keep you updated on Invest 92L. These are the spaghetti models that have actually been introduced. This was updated about 17 minutes ago. So this is brand new information here. And all of the models have this thing inbound for the very northeastern part of Florida and into Georgia. Some of the models take it right back out into the Atlantic, while others take it down across into the Gulf of Mexico and back over Florida. We have one model, the TABD, taking it all the way into the Gulf of Mexico after it makes landfall in what looks like northern Florida. So there's a lot of difference in the modeling and we regularly do not see this so we'll keep an eye on the storm let's hope it doesn't hang around and well create too much rain in this area taking a look at the gulf of mexico satellite this is infrared satellite you can see the disturbance off the florida and georgia coast here we can also see the disturbance forming here that has not been named yet or assigned a number but definitely is rotating and it looks like it has reinforcements coming up south of Cuba to add more moisture to the pot if you will all right this is actually US satellite radar of the Gulf of Mexico we do see some rotation here and we already have rain in Northeast Florida and we have rain bands hitting Georgia and South Carolina, and really even into North Carolina. The other storm is not actually producing rains yet, although I do suspect that it will by day's end. I see one band trying to start producing rain already. Now we all know how hot the water temperatures are in the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean. Taking a look, anywhere from 86 to 84 degrees, anywhere you go. And these storms are forming in the hottest water temperatures. These temperatures will only get warmer as we go into July and August. This is going to be some hurricane season 2024. Heading over to windy.com. We're going to use their AI to see what they believe or their AI believes is about to happen. You can see that this storm here that still has not been formed, although it is a numbered low, is really already impacting the coast of Florida, Georgia, 
in South Carolina. In the meantime, we have this form in here that looks much stronger, and we have the reinforcements coming up from south of Cuba, as we discussed, adding more moisture to this system. This is what's left of Alberto, which is just about nothing, but I have a pretty good feeling as soon as it makes it to the Pacific, it will reform and be renamed with a Pacific hurricane name if it becomes a cyclone. Now, with that said, I am very worried about the moisture in the Gulf and the subtropical lows coming down and creating tornadic activity in New Mexico, Texas, and the Central Plains. I'm going to kind of go through this and see what the AI has to say. This is still through today. Going into tomorrow, Saturday, you can see the Central Plains system. And it looks like a lot of these bands are going to hit Texas. And it looks like, uh, well, AI does not believe that Invest 92L will form into a cyclone, although they have a lot of moisture moving up the east coast here. Something to watch out for. So I see this happening over and over again, especially with tropical systems forming near the Yucatan Peninsula and subtropical lows coming through and meeting in the central plains. We could see tornadic activity at any time and we have seen tornadic activity almost every day for the last month. Taking a look at the National Weather Service forecast charts or maps, they are thinking right about what I am thinking. They're looking for tornadic activity in Utah, Arizona, Colorado, and into New Mexico today, along with a large swath of possible tornadoes from Montana, Wyoming, into Colorado, Nebraska, Indiana, uh, Minnesota, Wisconsin, South Dakota. So they're expecting the same type of event I am. Now that forecast was all for today. We regularly won't see that start up till later in the afternoons. This is tomorrow, Saturday, June 22nd's map. They're looking for additional tornado activity in Missouri, Indiana, Wisconsin, maybe a little bit of Minnesota. And on Sunday, they think everyone's going to be in pretty good shape except for New England. From New York to Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, etc. So with that said, please stay vigilant. This is one of the meanest starts to a hurricane season I remember in some time. And I expect we're going to see a lot more action in the coming weeks. Stay prepared. And always know what's going on in your area. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible. Bizarro world.